when there's a distraction involved in the task, then older adults relative to younger adults always have poor task performance. The approach that we developed to target this particular problem was to give the animals, the rats, and the humans a task that progressively gives them a more and more challenging distractions while they are focusing on um, getting to correctly discriminate a target information. That brings about a lot of neuroplasticity changes that are specific to um, how we process distractions, both in the animal system and in the human system. We're very proud of this study um, for several reasons. First, being able to do uh, a collaborative work like we've done here across species is rare and shows the power of investigations that can, that use convergent methodology. We also feel that we're getting a better handle and more empirical evidence about the design principles that you take into account when you build an intervention like a training or a video game approach. Um, we've always intuitively felt that the adaptivity is the way that we get selectivity, that we get to apply pressure in a very specific way to lead to the changes that we want. But there's very little data showing that um, carefully, that, that, that if you adapt this, you get this change, and if you adapt something else, you don't get that change. So it has both very you know, more specific applications uh, in relation to distraction and aging, but also more global ones into building the techniques and the approaches that we need to change the brain.